Now for this next part, we're given that f of x equals e to the power 2x, and then that's multiplied by cos 3x. And we've got to show that f dash x can be written in the form f dash x equals r e to the power 2x cos of 3x plus alpha, where r and alpha are the constants we found in the first part of the question. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, f dash x is the first differential of f of x with respect to x, so we need to differentiate this with respect to x. And what we have are essentially two functions of x being multiplied together, so we're going to need to use the product rule. And the product rule, remember, was that if you had two functions of x being multiplied together, say u and v, so if y equals u, v, it can be shown that dy by dx equals one of those parts, let's say u, multiplied by the differential with respect to x of the other part, then plus, and then we do it the other way around. One part, the other part, times the differential of the first part, du dx. Okay? So that is the product rule, and we're going to need to turn to that. So let's start then by saying that uh, we'll just copy down the f of x again, okay? We've got therefore f of x equals e to the 2x cos 3x. So my two parts then, let's just highlight them. There's one part, e to the 2x, there's the other part, cos 3x. That's my u, that's my v. First part, second part, doesn't really matter, okay? So Therefore, when it comes to differentiating these, I just take one of the parts, the first part, put it in brackets, e to the 2x, and I now multiply it by the differential of the other part. Differential of cos 3x, we need to use the chain rule here. Differential of cosine anything is going to be minus sine of that value, so minus sine of 3x and then you multiply it by the differential of the 3x, which is 3. That's the chain rule. If you're unfamiliar with the chain rule for differentiating things like this, just look on the, my website for tutorials on differentiation using the chain rule. Okay, so that's the first part done here. Now we've got plus, and we take this part, cos 3x, put it in brackets, so you don't end up writing any ambiguous statements, cos 3x then, and now we multiply it by the differential of e to the 2x. So again this is done by the chain rule, e to the power anything, when you differentiate it is e to that same power, but we need to multiply it by the differential of 2x, which is 2. So there we've got it, differentiated. So we just need to clean this up. And I can see that this term's a negative term, and this term's a positive term. So I'm going to write this term first of all as 2e to the 2x multiplied by cos 3x. So we don't need any brackets then. 2e to the 2x cos 3x. Now we pick up on this term as minus, and then 3e to the 2x sine 3x. 3e to the 2x sine 3x. Now, you should be able to see that we can pull out e to the 2x as a common factor. It's in both of those two terms. So we've got e to the 2x, then the bracket, and we've got 2 cos 3x, and then minus the 3 sine 3x. And this is looking familiar, because this was the expression that we had in the first part. We express this in the form r cos 3x plus alpha. So this is going to be the same then as writing this as r times e to the 2x cos of 3x plus alpha from the first part. All right? Now it's up to you whether you decide to put in the r value and the alpha value but I'm just going to leave it like that, all right? With my r and alpha as what I had in the first part. And there you have it.